All right, so welcome back to another episode, and today I'm going to show you guys my top five chatterbait colors. And you're actually going to be surprised because it's not that complicated, and you're going to find out that I keep it simple. I like to stick with natural colors and things that I've worked with. And the five colors that I'm going to be talking about in today's video are actually the five colors that I fish with all the time. So again, like any other tackle video on my channel, if you go back through and you see the base and you're like, do you really fish with those? If you go back and you watch the fishing videos, you will see that I do. But anyway, all right, so first up, you do have green pumpkin. Anytime I'm fishing in clear water or I just don't know what color to throw on or I just want to get a chatterbait out there without even really thinking about it, I will tie on green pumpkin. Now, you'll notice I do have a Rage Craw. It's a green pumpkin Rage Craw trailer. It is an original chatterbait and it is a half ounce size. Uh, there's two sizes of chatterbaits that I really like to throw. And that is three eighths and half ounce. Now I will step it up to five eighths once in a while, but I mean, like I said, three eighths and half ounce is really what I like to use. And I will use different kinds of chatterbaits. I'll use the original, the elite, a jackhammer, a thunder cricket, and a few others. But I'm just going to kind of cover some of the the originals, a thunder cricket, a jackhammer here as we go. So moving on to the second color, you do have a color that. It's an absolute must-have in my book, and that is black and blue, okay? That, again, this is an original chatterbait. It's a half-ounce size. And something that's really interesting that I will tell you is that a black and blue or a bluegill color, which I'm going to get to in a minute, are the two colors that I've thrown the most this year. And not only do they catch big fish, but they catch a lot of fish. And chatterbaits trigger one of the better reaction bites that I've ever had. And another thing, too, as we go through, you'll see that when we cover these colors and you kind of want to know why well a lot of you know that i was always a spinnerbait guy and a crankbait guy well i kind of take my crankbait color selection and just my natural imitation process that i go through and i apply that to my chatterbaits and that's what i what i do so you have green pumpkin is the first one you have black and blue now we're gonna kind of move around here onto the third one and that is a craw color now this is a jackhammer chatterbait and this is actually the spring craw again it has a rage craw as a trailer it's the Falcon Lake Craw, and anytime I use this color, which is, like I said, the Spring Craw, or the Fire Craw, which I also like a lot, I like to use a Falcon Lake Craw as the trailer. Now, why is that? Because you'll see the colors on there. It is kind of red, but it's also, like, it has, like, a gold, orange, greenish color on there. That goes really good with a craw. Now, I get a lot of people ask me, when is the best time to throw a craw-colored chatterbait or crankbait? I like to throw that in the spring or the fall, but again... Don't get this confused. I'm not telling you that you can only use these at whatever. You can use these whenever you want. I'm just telling you when I like to do that. So you do have green pumpkin, black and blue, craw. Now this one kind of looks like a craw. It's got a brownish and an orange in it. And I do have an Alabama craw trailer on there. It's an original chatterbait. But... So yeah, I just wanted to show you those. Now moving on, as you see in the box, you're going to get you the next two colors. And that right there is going to be bluegill. And do you want to know why? This is really interesting because you know how at the end of August, late summer, beginning of September, when the bluegill bite or the swim jig bite gets really good? Well, I like to throw a bluegill colored chatterbait during that time. And this right here is a Strike King Thunder Cricket. Like I said, it's a half ounce size and it does have a green pumpkin, purple, and gold trailer on there. Now, if you look at this Z-Man chatterbait, this Z-Man bluegill, I do have a PB&J trailer on there. Anytime I'm using a bluegill, I will put PB&J because it does have purple, kind of a purple and a brown, or I will put uh, green pumpkin, purple, and gold. But if you look at that PB&J, that just looks so good. So that is the next color on the list. And I mean, honestly, keeping it simple like this not only helps me catch more fish, but allows me to cover water and get, get back out there and just kind of keep it going. Now, obviously, I'm not going to be fishing these every single time, but if there's wind, or I just need a bait to catch like a pike or a bass and you know I'm having a tough time figuring anything else out a chatterbait is something that I will go to okay so moving on we're going to go to the next color and then we're going to talk about some of the trailers that I use and we're also going to talk about what's in this box now this will be covered in a future video that is all jackhammer and thunder crickets so anyway not to get sidetracked the next color is going to be white all right so right here you do have again an original chatterbait and it does have a bandito bug trailer on there again it's a half ounce 
Now, it's funny because with a white chatterbait or with any other chatterbait, like I keep saying and I will cover in a minute, I do like a rage craw, I like a swim bait, and I do like a like a bait, like a bandito bug as a trailer. That's always something. That's how I like to do it, basically. And another one, another white one, you do have a chartreuse in white. This is an elite, okay? So, again, before we get to the trailers, let's go over what we covered. You do have a green pumpkin, you have a black and blue, you have a craw color, bluegill, and white. These are the chatterbait colors I'm going to take when I'm fishing in the lakes or a pond if I'm going to throw a chatterbait. Anywhere I go, this is what I'm going to do. So before we get to the next portion of the video, you guys got to do me a favor and leave me a comment in the section below. You guys know that I love interacting with you guys and I respond to all your comments. And the discussion that we get on the baits and the fishing is just totally positive and amazing, especially in this community. What is your favorite chatterbait? What is your favorite chatterbait color? Why do you like it? Do me a favor. Leave me a long comment. I'll respond to it. It's totally cool, okay? So anyway, top five. Get that closed up. And here. Just because you guys said you like that fire cross so much. Where is it? Here, hold on. That's a thunder cricket. There we go. There's your fire craw. It's missing an eye. But that's okay. I've got a bunch of them in the box. Anyway. I'm going to make a video in the future of what's in my chatterbait box, but not now. Now we got to talk about trailers. There it is right there. A whole bag of Strike King Plastics. Some of my favorite color trailers are probably colors that you guys can already guess. You have, what is this, Blue Bug, Black and Blue, Green Pumpkin. See, the cool thing about Green Pumpkin is I'll put this on a bait. Like, if I need a trailer for a fire craw and I don't have a craw colored trailer or a rage craw, I'll just put on a Green Pumpkin. Like I said, black and blue. There's that PB&J I told you about. No, excuse me. That is Tequila Sunrise Orange Flake. My mistake. That is the PB&J with the purple. That's a really good color. I even like Texas rigging this. Just like any other. Oh, yeah. Get that out of the way. Now, this swim bait, this uh, swimming caffeine shed, I really like swimming this, as the name suggests, and fishing it on the bottom. I've used it for a chatterbait trailer before, but for if I want a swim bait, I'll go to like a Kai Tech before anything else, or a, what's that thing called, the Saucy Swimmer. Then again, you do have black and blue, green pumpkin, purple, and gold. That is an amazing color, and I do recommend everyone try that color. Uh, the Alabama Craw, what is this, more green pumpkin, PB&J. But anyway, leave me a comment. What's your favorite Chatterbait, Chatterbait trailer? I got to get this cleaned up. I hope you guys enjoyed. And another thing, too, is thank you for all the new subscribers, the likes, the comments. And keep in mind, if you're just now seeing my channel and you're like, what the heck, I want more videos or I want more fishing, check out the playlist. Check out the links in the description and the end screen videos. I've caught more fish this year than ever before, and I did a ton of fishing over the past four years. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time. Big? Okay, hold on. Oh, what is that? Oh, that's a good pike. Here we go. We're going to take the green pumpkin original off, the original chatterbait, and go to a fire craw jackhammer. Left field. Huh? Left field. Got him. Yes. Pretty sure, yeah. They're stacked up right there. There's a fish, hold on. Got him. There is a bass. Hold on, check this out, check this out. Bass on the fire craw, that fish is ice cold. Anyway, see that? Let's get a good look at him. That's a pound, he's a little guy. Here, if you wanna do your thing. Here. See by the color on him? Oh yeah. 
Oh yeah, there, there's definitely yeah fire craw, dude. Got that. You good to go? Uh, yeah. 